the heart meal there. Big old five by four, just what we want. First bowl, baby. First bowl. That's our first one together. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it comes. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. The freaking giant. Heck yeah. I'll take that for a last day back. Just get to work. Stop talking. <laughs> I love chasing elk, whether it's for myself or for someone else, and in this case, I'm helping my cousin Cam. He was chosen as an alternate on a limited entry elk hunt, so planning out this hunt was last minute. The thing is, I know this unit very well, and I knew I could help Cam get a bull. I'd taken a nice six-point bull a few years back with my bow, and it chased a couple of studs, including one I named Winston that I knew was still alive. I've compiled incredible trail cam footage of Winston for years, but we just couldn't ever get him killed. Now that Cam has a rifle tag in his pocket, getting Winston seems more possible than ever. With a storm rolling in, we didn't know exactly what the elk would be doing, but the one thing I knew, in this unit, we'd have a good chance at seeing and chasing multiple bulls. Okay, so you guys haven't had the chance of seeing Cam on film yet. But this is my cousin Cameron. He's gonna be at dental school the next four years. And he got lucky, got called as an alternate. And- uh, Chug luck. It's the chug luck. And uh, so we're gonna try to get him a big bowl. We got up in elevation so that we can glass. Cam's gonna glass over here. I'm gonna go over here and glass. And we're gonna see what we can find this morning. And uh, I think if we don't spot anything here, I think we're gonna go back down the road and try to glass back and see what we can see over there on that north side of the road, so. That first morning, I wanted to check up high and see if the elk were hanging around where I've seen them during our tree season. There were a few places in particular that Winston loved to be, and I hope that we might find them there. We quickly learned the elk were not up high anymore. All their food was gone. Since the year was so dry and we had hardly any rain in this drainage, the elk would have to be lower where there was some sort of feed. The new plan was to work our way down the mountain, getting lower and lower until we located elk. Well, so far the weather has sucked. It is blowing like crazy and looks like everything's held up in the timber, so hopefully it stops blowing today so that we can have a better chance at finding something. But let's keep going down this drainage and glassing in and see if we get lucky. We re just ran into a local and he uh, said that the elk are down pretty far low, not because of the weather, but because of the drought. There's no feed for them up here. So um, we're gonna take off and we're gonna make a plan to go down lower, kind of into the juniper hill country and uh, see if we have a little better luck. Not even an elk. So it makes sense that there's no elk around here. It's so dry and just no food. So we're assuming the elk are gonna be a little bit lower. So we're gonna hike up to this uh, juni thick juniper middle ridge and there's a few areas you can glass into. Um, see if we can't see a bull in this bowl. It's about to start raining. But we've probably got a few good hours left at least. We realized that the elk were going to be way lower than expected. We got some intel from some locals saying the elk were coming into fields at night to eat and staying low in the hills. We also got additional information from Jaden that a big bull was hanging out in one of these fields, which we hoped was Winston. We didn't know exactly where, but the plan was to try and locate him and hopefully catch him going back into the Juniper Hills after a night of feeding. It's all gone. I mean, they, there's more feed up here than there is, but you can still just eat and all down, you know? 
we've lost our glassing visibility, so we're gonna get back to the truck, go even lower. And wow, no elk this morning, pretty slow. So there's no feed up there, it's dry. So we're guessing, and we ran into a couple locals, they said that the elk are lower. So anyway, we're gonna go even lower tonight and try to see if they're in these uh, low juniper rolling hills. So hopefully we can get her done tonight. After checking the lower hills that night, we still weren't seeing any elk. So we headed back to camp for dinner. Even though we didn't see any elk on day one, one thing I knew that would boost our spirits was eating some elk. I had prepared some back straps from my goofy bull that I had taken just a week earlier, and he ate well. Hey! Whoa! I'm making a mess. After eating some delicious organic meat, we made a game plan for the next day. We knew some weather was rolling in and we decided to continue scouring the lower country looking for Winston. It's the morning of day two. We got some snow, which is good, and cans ready to see an elk. You had a little shoot one. Get a little trigger twitch. <laughs> so yesterday was a little slow. We're hoping today's better. That next morning was completely opposite from the day before. We had gotten a little snow and it was cold. Hopefully, with this colder weather, we would have the elk on their feet and be able to spot something. Well, we're on our like plan D now. We still haven't even found an elk. It's the second morning. God, it should be really good. It's cold, no wind. Skiff of snow. Still haven't been able to locate a bull, so it's a lot tougher than I anticipated it would be. We're in this big canyon and big juniper steep side hills, so hopefully there's a few elk in here. I got a call from my buddy Jaden saying he spotted a couple bulls, one of them being a nice six point. I mean, we could climb up and get in position or we can wait until we see them and then go from there too. Hard when you don't know where they're at. Look how thick that is up there. Even just to get to, look at, dude, I don't even know if we can walk through that oak brush. I'm just thinking like if we were to take off right here, look how thick that oak is. Yeah, Maybe once you get into the If you got up in there, then you're gonna be able to see a little bit better too. Yeah. Might be worth a hike. Yeah. So I mean they're not a long ways from the, the pines, but they were just no, they were just melting there. I think they're laying in there somewhere. So once we get there, those those elk are in that thick stuff. I mean we're gonna have to sit here till they come out or they may not come out. So we're just gonna be, it's, we're gonna be sitting and it's gonna be cold and so. After talking it over, we decided to go in after these bulls. We didn't know exactly where they were or if they'd even still be there, but I wanted to get Cam a bull, let alone see one. So hiking in seemed like the right play for the rest of the afternoon and evening. Once we got in there, it was thick and it was cold. We glassed for those bulls for hours with no luck. Eventually we started a fire because it was starting to get so dang cold. I would have thought something would have been moving in there for sure, but today just wasn't our lucky day. It's been so freaking windy and cold and uh, we've been waiting this bull out and he hasn't come out, which means we've been just waiting. We built the fire 
that's the only thing that's kept us out. The wind just barely died down. We only have about an hour of light left. So, it's hard to cross fingers with big old gloves, but crossing our fingers, this bowl comes out. So, we sat by the fire, glassing until dark with no luck. This was pretty discouraging because I thought for sure we'd see a bull in this thick oak brush. We gotta hand it to us again. I can't believe. Can't believe it. Can't believe we couldn't blast a bull up here. Or yesterday. Ball day today. Wow. I don't know, I've been this frustrated hunting before. Only every time I deer hunt, I guess. Man. Nothing. We paid our dues, we sat on this hill. It froze our butts off for like six hours. So we paid our dues, but... With no luck, we headed back to camp to warm up and get ready to hunt the next day. With a new day came another snowstorm, but this time it was a blizzard. We had at least a foot of snow and it didn't seem like it was going to let up. All right, well, we got dumped on last night. Probably, what do you think, 12 inches? Oh, 10 yeah. inches of snow, 12 inches, maybe a little more. Um, so, the elk are gonna stand out, but I'm worried about visibility. It looks uh, pretty sopped in, and it's supposed to snow till noon, so. We decided to head home for the day with our tails between our legs because Cam and I had some finals to finish up for school and Peyton had to meet up with Eric to film his last day deer hunt. We had made a game plan to come back in a day or two when the snow had died down and try and find Winston again. All right, so Cam and I are back at it. Um, woke up at three o'clock in the morning and we uh, took off. So we finally have a little better weather, a lot of snow now, but um, we should be able to glass just fine. And so hopefully we find a nice bull this morning. Find a bull. Game time. Well, the nice thing about today is you can see animals really well. Um, glassed up a three or four deer so far today, but no bulls yet. Gosh, man, we're having a struggle trying to find these bulls. These deer are chest deep in snow, it's crazy. They're tough suckers. Keep looking. Um, we were driving and uh, I put the glass out and I spotted this nice bull. So Cam and I are just watching him. He's a good six point. Dude, that's a cool bull. He's a good bull. So we're gonna keep eyes on him, see what he does and uh, see if we can make a play on him. Yes! Four, how many days did it take us? Two, Four? three days. Three. three days to find a bull. So to find an elk, this is our first elk we've spotted. He keeps moving through this thick juniper and oak brush, so he's hard to, I haven't even been able to get the camera on him. So we're just gonna keep watching him and be patient here. We don't wanna go make a move when we don't even know where he's at yet, or where he's going and what he's gonna do. But we found a bull of bones. What'd you think of him? Decent. I'd have to get a closer look. It was hard to see in the, scope to see where, where he really was like. He's got a lot of character. You know, it comes in. Okay, so there's a ridge in between Cameron and I and the bull. So Cam and I are gonna hike to that ridge and cut the distance basically in half. He's still gonna be too far to shoot, but the bull is coming down and we can always come down too. So he's gonna be about eight, 900 yards away and we'll get over there. But anyway, we're gonna get going. You can 
see that there was a bull bedded here last night. I'd say we're within 800 yards of where we glassed a bull up this morning. So we're just gonna try to get eyes on it. Hopefully he comes into a shooting lane because it's thick. So right as we were about to leave, we respotted a small six. Cameron's gonna pass him. He's like 700 yards away, so it's a little bit of a poke anyway, but leave him for the last day. And we're gonna try to find this big bull tomorrow. Yeah, it's the last day, bull. Definitely going down if it's the last day. Not today. Not, not today. While waiting out this bull, I got a text from Jaden saying Winston had been killed. While it was somewhat defeating, I was motivated more than ever to help Cam fill his tag. Congrats to the lucky hunter who ended up harvesting this remarkable animal. We are headed out this morning. It's two degrees, it's cold. We are gonna try and uh, spot that big bull again this morning. And uh, this time, go after him. We have, uh, we marked a pretty good path on base map of how we could get up and kill him if he's in that same spot, so. I spotted a bull first thing this morning. He's a good bull, solid, solid six point. Uh, we're gonna try to side hill up this canyon and shoot across the canyon at him. It's a pretty small canyon, so it's we should be able to do it. But we're gonna warm up here for a couple seconds and then go after that bull. Okay, so we're trying to get to the opposite side hill of this bull. I don't know if he's still there, but I think it's our best chance if he is still there to shoot him. This snow sucks. It's so deep. And this side hill is so steep. All right, so Cameron, Cameron and I hiked up this nasty, nasty, nasty canyon. And uh, we caught that bull that, was, that uh, we spotted this morning bedded. He's at 480. He's a crazy looking bull. His bean comes out of like his forehead. And uh, he's heavy, heavy. He's got like four on his one side, and so he could be broken up. But regardless, he's a cool bull. He's super heavy. So I think uh, Cam and I are trying to debate if we should set up here or go down a little lower or what. But anyway, we're going to start to make a play here soon. Do you want to zoom in a little bit? Are you good? Okay. Pull the trigger when you're ready. You steady? Four, 468. 468? 468. Steady. Just relax, breathe. That's a hit. Stay on him. He's Stay down. on him. He's down. He has bones. Yeah. Bones had a boy. Woo. He's down. <laughs> Dude. First, first shot. Baby. First bull elk. First shot. Hit him. First bull, dog. First bull. Yes. Shot the dang unicorn. Uh. Can. First bull, baby. First bull. Nice, bro. Had a boy. The 65 PRC with she her flies. second elk of the year. She flies. She flies. She fine too. I felt, I felt steady, especially with that little pulled scope. I felt real steady. I could see her real clear. Oh, man, that's nice, dude. Freaking 468, I think, and then, oh, heck yeah, dude. That's Cam's first bull. We spotted this bull first thing this morning and uh, freaking we hiked up the opposite canyon. This is a nasty canyon, but we earned it, man. Hello? Hello? Did you get one? Bull down. Woo! He sent me a picture! 
I will. We're still, we're still 400 yards away from them. Cam shot from here. Bull's dead right there. Time to go get him. Pretty cool looking bull. We just hiked all the way over here and just got up. I had to go up this super steep hill. Look at him, he's a six by three. Should be, it looks like a six by six, but he's broken off a few times. And he's got, check out this antler. It goes right through his forehead. A pretty unique bull. So I'd rather take a unique bull over a six by six any day. I think it's pretty cool. Cam and I didn't see a bull for three days and then to ultimately, you know, get a bull like this. I'm proud of Cam for sticking it out. The first three days were way slow. And finally yesterday we saw a pretty good six point and then couldn't get on him though and couldn't find him today. So we took our opportunity and got this bull. We earned it, baby. So we're gonna take pictures and get out of here. I can't tell you how excited I was for Cam to get a bull down. This is his first bull he's ever taken, and I can't think of a more unique bull for him, especially after not seeing any elk the first couple of days. Even though we didn't get Winston, this was an awesome experience helping Cam get his first bull out. Luckily, after getting this bull taken care of, <laughs> Jaden and a couple of his buddies came to help us pack out this bull. I can't thank them enough because without their help, we would have had a couple of miserable trips through three feet of snow. And that's one of the best parts of hunting, is having good friends to hunt and laugh with, but that also come and help you when you're in a miserable situation. I haven't wanted to cry tears of joy in a long time until today the cavalry came. Jaden brought two friends and their workhorses. And awesome. <laughs> We're able to get everything out in one load. Thanks for watching, everybody. For this hunt, we're giving away a Stealth Cam package. The package includes one DS4K Max trail camera, one SD card, one SD card reader, one lock box, and one lock cable. We use Stealth Cam for all our scouting, and because this photo and video quality is unmatched with the DS4K Max, this is the perfect package for anyone looking to upgrade their trail cams or if you're just starting to scout. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and what you think Winston would have scored. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We will announce the winners on Instagram and Snapchat, so be sure to follow us there. Good luck, everyone.